So, it's Valentine. If you had a good Valentine or you had a Valentine, let me say him. Uh, let me hear you say I. 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 Oh, so mean, that means most of you did not have a Valentine. Well, <laughs> actually, don't worry. If you did not have a Valentine, it's okay. Most people don't get AIDS on what AIDS dead. So it's fine. <laughs> so, I always say, never judge a book by its cover. One of my friends has been convicted of a serious crime, and actually his name is Innocent. Never judge a book by its cover. Last time, I came from work, and then I found it's actually my roommate. He was sitting down, and where he was sitting, actually, there was a very big box. He was sitting down, looking at the box, and then looking at me, and then holding, on, holding his chin. So I asked him, what are you doing? He told me, no, 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 I'm trying to think out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> I always say, never judge a book by it. Never judge a book by its cover. Then, I remember the story as I saw him sitting there. When he was, we, we actually went to the same school, we came from the same place. So when he was in school, our teacher actually used to ask very simple questions, actually the mathematics teacher. He asked, his name was, his name is John actually. John, if you had two, if, if you had two, and two, no, he asked this, sorry. If you had two goats, because the teacher usually wanted, like to use the practical example. If you had two goats, and then Mike comes and gives you two more goats, how many goats will you have in total? He said five. Okay, the teacher thought maybe he did not understand or he did not hear what he said. He asked him again, John, if you had two goats with a loud voice, if you had two goats, and Mike comes and gives you two more goats, how many goats will you have in total? He said five. <laughs> the teacher said, maybe he does not understand. Let me change the question. <coughs> so he, he changed the question. He asked him, John, if you had two apples, and then Mike comes and gives you two apples, how many will you have in total? He said four. <laughs> <laughs> so the teacher got confused. <laughs> so he decided to ask him the same question again. Maybe because he thought maybe he understood the question. John, if you had two goals, and my counter gives you two goats. How many goats will you have in total? Five. <laughs> so the teacher wanted to know why he's saying five. He asked him, John, why are you saying five? John was just standing at the back. He said, Teacher, you see, you don't know. I have another goat at home. <laughs> 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 So he asked John, <coughs> John, if your father had a, I'll, I'll, I'll combat this money to BD, if your father had 20 BD, and then Mr. Ali came and gave him a 20 BD, and then Miss Obama came and gave him a 20 BD, how much will your father pay back to those people who gave him the money. John said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so he asked him again the same, same question. If your father had 20 BD, and then Mr. Ali gave him 20, now the teacher was getting angry, and then Miss, Miss Obama came and gave him 20, how much will you have in total? He said nothing. <laughs> he asked him, why will he, why will he not give anything? You don't understand the question? Or you don't know anything? So he told the teacher, no. You're the one who, you don't know my father. <laughs> when my father borrows money, he never pays back. <laughs> <laughs> then when John grew up, not now, that he's a little bit old now, he went back to Kenya for vacation, and then uh, one of his family had passed away, or in other words, he had died. So they were taking the body because uh, back home we normally bury the body. We don't bury the body the same place it is. We normally bury it in the village. So they were transporting the body 
and then they met, uh, they were stopped by a policeman. So the police asked, this is the last one, the police asked, where are you taking the body? Blah, 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 so many questions. In other words, he, need, he wanted to be given something small like a bribe or anything. So John asked uh, the guy who was traveling with him, these police have never stopped. They are still acting like this. They are still uh, doing these kind of things. He told them, okay, wait. When we meet another police, just don't stop there. Stop a little bit further so that I can talk to him. So luckily, when they were traveling, they met another police. So what John said, let me just wait, put the coffin down, I'll go inside the coffin, and then the police tell him to come and uh, talk to me. <laughs> so the police went there, there was nobody in the car, actually the guy went out, the one, and then John was in the coffin. So when the police came, he was looking around, John came out. <laughs> and then he asked the police, ah, you know, these people wanted to bury me here, but I don't like this place. <laughs> Thank you.